Spirit Revelation Ecclesia presents the Baptism of Fire Conference. There are different dimensions of faith. There are different chapters of faith. There are different substances of faith. Even Paul says, uh, now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Through faith, we found that Enoch captured immortality while on earth. Through faith, we saw how Noah built an ark that salvaged the entire humanity. So through faith, we can tap into the realities of the spirit and capture the intentions of God and establish them on earth. Who has broken the trust of faith in your spirit? He that teaches you the word of God can control, can manipulate, can limit your faith. For the Bible says that the communication of thy faith might become effectual by the acknowledging, by the epignosis of every good thing in you in Christ. So the quality and the capacity of your revelation is what your faith uses to function. Faith depends on revelation knowledge. If you don't know, your faith would not act. Once faith sees the assurance of that revelation knowledge, once your faith has perceived that you have obtained the substance required to cause the faith to go on motion, the faith will carry out that revelation that you have captured in the reins of the spirit. When God created Adam, Adam was to be the God of the earth. Adam's responsibility was to bring Eden across the nations of the world. Adam's responsibility was to extend the Eden of God to prevail, to subdue other you know, parts of the earth. So Adam had to function from heaven to earth. Adam had to function from the Eden to earth. So Adam governed from Eden to earth, not from earth to Eden. That's why Adam had a body. But he was a living soul, not a living body. So Adam had the capacity to descend to earth, govern the affairs of the earth, rule over the fowl of the air, rule over the fishes of the sea. He went into different dimensions, realms and civilizations. Because he was the only human creature that had the bread, the body and a soul. So with his spiritual capacity, he could ascend into the air and rule over creatures, spiritual creatures in that dimension. So when God says, I have blessed you with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, that is the ability of the spirit in your spirit to access the heavenlies. God doesn't want you to function from earth to heaven. If you're functioning from earth to heaven, whatsoever you bind on earth will not be bound in heaven. But if you're functioning from heaven to earth, when you come here, you know your consciousness on earth is controlled, governed by the rulership and realities of the spirit. So that when you're binding things on earth, they are the things already bound in heaven. You don't have your own independent will, your own independent interests. It has to be that which God had already bound. So your access into the heavenly dimensions is to perceive that which the Father has done. It's to hear the voice of the Father. 
because if you're not in tune with Zion your functions on earth will be impotent and completely inactive now Jesus says the son of God who is in heaven Jesus says I had a dual consciousness Jesus had a dual existence he was both in heaven why functioning in an earthen vessel and then he says what I see my father do is what I perform so that which Jesus did was what the father had already done so the words of Jesus the preachings of Christ we are the echo of what Christ of what the father had already said in that realm of divine fellowship hi I'm Emery I'm from the UK I've traveled all the way from England um, to be at this conference I've been following the ministry for a couple of months now online um, and when I heard about this conference it was something that I've how can I word this um, I was led here so I don't even know why I was here it was Holy Spirit that led me here specifically there was a reason that I needed to be here so everything was organized very last minute like in a week time off work organized my children everything and then jumped on a plane to be here couldn't question why I just needed to be here because Holy Spirit needed me to be here and I'm just, I was just being obedient and as the, and as the days are going by I'm realizing why I'm here um, it's all making sense to me now so I just out of pure obedience being here being in the presence of God everything is just sinking in and I feel myself slowly changing I can't explain how transforming when Pastor John gives us revelation it just wows me um, it's, it's, it's all starting to make sense to me spiritually. It's like I'm connecting him on a spiritual level. Um, so when he's talking, I'm engaging with him um, spirit to spirit. Um, it's, 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 it's feeding me spiritually. It's bringing something out of me more and more. The presence of the Lord is just so strong here. And I had no words. Just being entering into the building, it touched me. Um, just being here seated and just the presence, wow. I, I literally had no words. Um, I mean, I've been following online, but to actually be here in, in, in person, it's a whole different experience. Um, like I said, literally there is no words. Um, the presence of God here is so strong and you feel, I can't even explain in words, touched transformed um, spiritually fed and you spiritually fed meat not milk meat to grow <laughs> so I would just get here there's two days left but it's the most transformational conference I've ever been to on day one of the baptism of fire conference I had an encounter and um, I was standing in my seat and praising God and then um, at first I felt really dizzy and then close to the end of the conference, or not the conference, the day, um, Papa said that some people are going to get like a baggage on them for seven years. So as soon as he said that, I felt like I, it, I was being pulled out of my body and I saw myself standing and I got I got put back in my body and it was just an amazing experience and um, I had to, I couldn't even process what happened and when I got home I couldn't stop I praising God and I was just amazed I've never felt anything like this before and it was truly amazing so I'm really grateful and I thank God and I thank you Papa and Mama during yesterday's service while I was in deep prayer I had three visions where I saw an eagle um, first take me out of my body it was like an out-of-body experience where I saw an eagle fetch me and then my the second vision was I saw a soldier 
And this was right before Papa spoke about us being soldiers of God and us being soldiers in this new phase that's going to happen in, in our life. The last vision I had was I saw three crosses which represent the body of Christ, the Trinity. I would like to invite everyone who's watching this to take action and actually experience this because we cannot emphasize the great glory of God and the power Papa has and the message he has for everyone, including you sitting at home. Um, to people that haven't been here, I would advise, please, even ask, borrow just money just to come for these two days that are left. Your, your life will never be the same again. Every time that you come, you get to be impacted with glory. You live here changing your mindset, things differently, how you speak, how you think, how you perceive the world is actually different. So if you do not come here, especially tomorrow, Papa said that we must invite people. So I beg, I beg everyone to come and actually receive the gospel. Uh, the service is uplifting as inside I've got, I'm fired inside that this conference should take at least more than the four days because uh, four days looks shorter. We should need it more. We can never go wrong in this house. This is the only house where everybody, the whole nation must come into this house.